Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. So today I'm just going to continue the topic features in BIP report part two. Okay, so in part one we had seen that how to create the dependent LOEs for the BAP reports, how to create the data model, how to create the report, how to map that report and data model, and all that respective features. Now in this video, I'm just going to tell you that how to do the changes for the template because whenever you are just going to the practical project, so that time the client need the different changes into the template for the viewing purpose. Okay, so for that we have to do all that respective changes. So now I'm just going to my Fusion instance first. So this is the home screen of my Oracle Fusion instance. So I'm just going to this navigator. Then here is an tools option and here I'm just clicking on the report and analysis. After that, this page will come in front of you and then you can click on this browse catalog button. So it will redirect you to the catalog page. Now here I'm just editing the same report which we had created in our last video. Okay, anyone had not seen that first go and see that video. So you will get the better understanding for this video as well. Okay, so now we have to edit the template. For that I'm just uh, editing this respect to report. So before just moving forward, I just have to tell you that if you're new on my channel and you want to learn the Oracle Fusion, so please go through the Fusion playlist from my channel. If you have any question, any doubts, you can write on the comment section of any of the video. So you will get the reply or you can also write me on my email ID. Okay, so continue to the topic. So we have to do the template change. So here I'm just clicking on this edit. So once I click on the edit, so it will start downloading the template. So the template is downloaded. Now I will just open this template on my local machine. So the template is open. So I will just click on this enable editing. So now what we will do, we will just do small changes over here. So I am just changing into the footer. I am just removing this respect to Oracle logo. And instead of this logo, I am just uploading some different Oracle logo. Okay, so here I am just going to insert pictures. I had downloaded one Oracle logo. So I will just select that one. So this I had selected. Now you can see the clear Oracle logo. So I will just change this respect to report name as well so i'm just writing here features in vip part 2 and here i will just write technical talks with Norwich. so that is my channel name i will do some formatting i'm just making this as a bold this is our heading and this also i'm just making a bold i'm just changing the color this font bit more this is italic and underline okay so this is my template other things i'm just keeping as it is okay so now i'm just saving this template i'm just closing this i'm on my report screen so here there is an option add new layout so i will just upload the layout now so i'm just giving layout 2 as the name i will just select this respective layout so i just selected that I'm selecting this type as an RTA, local as English. And I'm just trying to upload it. Template file, this one is already exists. Okay, so this template file is already exists. So what we have to do, we have to do the name change because same name should not be uploaded. So I will do the name change and I had uploaded it. Okay, so I just added the underscore V1. So for the version one. Okay, so I'm just clicking on upload. So it's uploading so it's uploaded and it is automatically saved but we will just save one more time from our side and just i'm just clicking on the view a list so view a list so default template are the previous one now what i'm just making instead of this i'm just making this as a default template okay now i'm just saving it one more time and clicking on view report so now once I click on review report, so you can see default template is this one. Whatever the changes we had made that are coming, this is the default template. This is the previous template. So you can see both the templates. Okay, so here is this Oracle logo and this is the heading and all this respective column. But this is the different. Okay, so now we can just download this as well. Same in the PDF format or HTML format or RTF format same way we can do download also okay so you can see it comes in pdf okay but one thing that i don't need this respect to both the tabs so what i can just do 
so i will just go back over there so how i can do that i'm just going to the catalog i will just edit this report again i will just click on this view as the list and here is an active okay so i don't want to make this as an active i just want to keep only one view online so view online mode is there so i'm just i'm checking this also i'm just saving this one i'm just clicking on view reports okay so it came like this so here also we can just change the parameter like as in 107 all lines click on apply so it will just load that respective 107 okay so similar way you can just try the different approaches as well so this is the one more feature so now i'm just going to the catalog page again i'm just editing the data model so in this respective query we just had given the simple view of the report there is no master detail so we can just create the master detail as well by using the second data model so i can just create this first one by using the header query second one by using the line query and then we can just link that respective data model so that way we can just do that all as well so there are multiple features over there so we can explore that so if you have anything questions on this one or if you need any more video on any different topic so you can just write into the comment section so i can just prepare that quickly and upload on my channel so now this is the one feature that is an event trigger so how this event trigger will work that also i have to tell you so for that i will just prepare the other video okay so in this video i will just tell you one more thing and we will conclude so i'm just going back to the catalog here are these two reports so suppose i develop this report and i just need this for the future reference okay because i don't know when my instance is going to the refresh because this is the dev instance so how i can just download that just click on more then archive then click on this checkbox that is an permission and timestamp okay it will just download you can see that it is downloaded similar way we can just download the report as well same archive keep keep this one as well and click on ok so it will just download the second one as well and if you want to just upload it after a few days so just click on this unarchive one from the left hand side and give this respective detail and you can just do that so that's it in this video thanks for watching please like share subscribe my channel thank you